Right, those Afghans mostly include those who worked with the U.S. and feared Taliban retaliation. And new this morning, 7 News' John Gonzalez spoke to one man who's now out, but is still working to help friends and family escape. John. That's right, and before moving to Virginia, Saber Nasseri worked as a cultural advisor, a linguist in Afghanistan, trying to build a peaceful relationship between the Afghan people and American forces. But back in 2008, his American unit was attacked by the Taliban, and he says that he was the reason. He was targeted. He was medevaced out of the Helmand province after a horrific IED explosion. It is a miracle he survived. One ranger standing next to him did not. He says his home in Afghanistan has been taken over by the Taliban. His cousin has already been killed this week, and his parents, sister, and brother are all hiding near the airport. They put a $300,000 bounty on my head. They surrounded us, our unit, especially they targeted me. They, they, they shot me by, by AK-47, by IED, remote control IED. They cut my fingers off. They cut my neck, nose, everything. Members of his former platoon started a GoFundMe account. They write that Saber Rock, as they nicknamed him, interpreted enemy radio traffic that helped avoid Taliban ambushes back then and gave life-saving information even in the middle of firefights. Now he's hoping that the White House and the Pentagon here behind me can help get his family to safety. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, 7 News.